Megyn Kelly's new book has a bombshell in there about President-elect Trump. She says, This is actually one of the untold stories of the 2016 campaign. I was not the only journalist to whom Trump offered gifts clearly meant to shape coverage. Trump tried to work the refs, and some of the refs responded. This is smart because the media is full of people whose egos need stroking. Oh boy. So, who, like, who are you talking about? What's going on here? Well, look, I mean, we've seen Donald Trump and Bill O'Reilly at uh, games together. They've gone to basketball games together. They're buddies. They've hung out a bunch of times. Now, uh, I don't know if they were friends prior. They probably were friends prior to Trump running for president, because I think I've seen pictures. Years ago, I've seen pictures of them at Knicks games, for example. Um, but is that what she's referring to? I don't know. And actually, to be fair to Bill O'Reilly, he's been tougher on Donald Trump than anybody at Fox News other than Megyn Kelly. So there were instances where Trump was like, what are you doing, man? Um, now, is she referring to Sean Hannity? I mean, Sean Hannity, he's been the biggest... He basically decided to permanently sew his lips to Trump's asshole, like the human centipede. That's what uh, Sean Hannity does. That's who Sean Hannity is. He's a little bitch boy. And by the way, I mean... it. In, in the deepest sense, I mean that disrespectfully, <laughs> because Sean Hannity is a guy who, for example, under the uh, George Bush administration, when Bush pushed for free trade deals and privatizing Social Security, he was cheerleading it. Yeah, free trade is great. Liberals are stupid for being against free trade and being against privatizing Social Security. Donald Trump goes along. He go. He says the opposite. He goes, no, I'm against free trade. I don't want to do TPP. And he's like, yeah, no, totally, that's right, I agree with that 100%, I never disagreed with that ever, I'm not a hypocrite or flip-flopper, man, I don't know what you're talking about. So he doesn't care about substance, he doesn't care about issues, he flip-flops based on the fucking, whichever president is in the White House. If it's a Republican, I agree 100% no matter what. Democrat, I disagree 100% no matter what, and the issues are irrelevant. So maybe it's Sean Hannity she's referring to, or maybe it goes even deeper than that. But here's the point. Look, we went after Hillary Clinton ruthlessly. In uh, the general election, because WikiLeaks shows Donna Brazil, for example, was slipping Hillary questions during the primary. Hey, look, I'm not giving Bernie questions, but here you go. You're going to get a question on the death penalty. You're going to get a question on, you know, the, the water in Flint, Michigan. So just a heads up, be prepared, you know what I'm saying? And then they had the nerve at the end of the oh, What? We didn't do it. I don't know what you're talking about. There was no fucking collusion. I, don't know. I have no clue what you mean. Debbie Wasserman Schultz yelling at the host of Morning Joe saying, I'm going to talk to your boss. Because you're giving us unfair coverage. That's what I'm going to do. How insane is that? The government putting pressure on, uh, you know, media because they're too hard on them? That's insanity. I mean, what is this? Fucking Pravda? Is that what we're doing here? So, uh, Hillary was guilty of it to, to a certain extent, you know? Or her campaign was certainly guilty of it. Now, flip the script... And with Donald Trump, he portrayed himself because he spoke about it on the campaign show. Oh, WikiLeaks and Donna Brazil and the media totally biased and in the tank for crooked Hillary. Well, Don, you were trying to do the same thing. See, that's the thing I've been trying to tell you guys from the beginning. Donald Trump yearns to be Hillary Clinton because Hillary Clinton actually is in the club. She's in the club. She's on the cocktail circuit. She is an elitist establishment insider. If you read about Donald Trump's history... All he's ever wanted in his entire life was to be a big-time establishment insider and get the pats on the back from the other rich people. So he yearns to be Hillary Clinton. So that's why yeah, now you have clear examples, and it's not even as subtle with Trump. With Trump, it's like, I will give you gifts, but you give me favorable coverage. Believe me, tremendous. And according to Megyn Kelly, that's what he did. And I'm not surprised at all. So look, bottom line is, you know what the solution to all this is? Media with backbone and media with principle, also known as new media. So I'm going to hold politicians accountable no matter what. I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't want these assholes on my show. I don't. I got no interest in their bullshit and their lies and their talking in circles. I don't. I have no interest in any of it. I'd rather tell you the facts of what they're doing and analyze it and critique it and be objective and crack down because our job is to be hold people in power to account. Not to be their servile puppy dogs. But apparently the media on both sides, whether it's MSNBC for Hillary Clinton or Fox News for Donald Trump, they both cannot wait to do the bidding of their, uh, you know, political overlords. Well, that shit stops with new media, and that's why we're on the rise and they're on the decline.